We live. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. What's up, guys? I go by the name of Grom. Today we will be making a fat 808 tutorial. I'll be showing you two ways of doing it: stock plugins on Ableton and third-party plugins. If you want to go a little extreme, you know. Um, pretty simple video, straight to the point. Just get into the damn fucking video. Let's go. All right, so we're here. We are here. Excuse me, my camera moves a lot, you know. It's kind of like on top of a table, so I'm shaking a little bit. But um, yeah, let's start with the stock plugin way. Um, this is what it sounds like with everything off. Okay. This is what it sounds like. Okay. And also, you can find this um, 808 on my sample pack that just came out. But uh, yeah, let's start with, excuse me, we'll start with the stock plugins. And this is a rack that I already have open. I'm gonna show you what it sounds like with it on. Okay. And then with the other rack on, on the group, okay. Okay, so first let's go with the one inside the audio and the MIDI okay so we're gonna turn all of these off and I'm gonna show you step by step what I did and how I got here but yeah first we added an EQ um, just to cut down the mids and the highs you know remove the, the fourth band somewhere between 100 100 and 120 K hertz and 20 Hertz my bad. See, so cutting most of the mids. Uh, I added a bit warmer. Um, I I put up the drive. Well, I mean, if you just searched uh, saturation, actually. Uh, wait one second. Set no oh, saturator is the first uh the first preset. You can just literally drag it. But um, yeah, drive 60B drive and wet. 70% okay next we added an OTT uh, what I did is I turned off the mids and the highs on this I dragged this uh, here somewhere almost between 20 and 10% so it's somewhere in 15 excuse me then I grabbed this uh, line and I kinda just put it, put it parallel with the 40 and then we added a hiss. It's okay, remember, search hiss, erosion, hiss, grab it, drag it. And what I did is I dragged this and I put it, I put the amount at like at 90. Okay. This should come out somewhere right here. I mean, when you open it, it should come out somewhere around here. So just drag it to like 90, 90, 80%. Okay. And that's that's all we do here on the audio on the audio or mini file, whatever you're working on. Then on the group, make sure you group it, okay? So you're gonna you're gonna group your MIDI or your audio. On the group you're gonna add this rack. I'll leave it on the description as well. So uh, what what I did here, I left the EQ. Um I didn't really do much here, I just put a put the span here. Left the everything the same. Let me show you what it sounds like. Okay. Added a glue compressor. You're gonna move the threshold at negative 12 dB. You're gonna uh, you're gonna add you're gonna add 10 dB on the makeup. That's gonna just bring everything out. You're gonna compress the shit out of it, and then we're gonna add saturation. We're gonna add 6 dB, and we're gonna put in that analog clip. Okay. Dry and wet at 77%. And that should give that big fat 808 right there. Okay, so this is a stock way, you know, stock Ableton, stock Ableton plugins. Really simple. Um, but now let's show you the third party way, which is not it's not really much different than this. Just one 
third party VST to be honest. But uh, we're gonna leave the same group uh, on the group. We're gonna leave it on because we already have it. When well, well, actually, let's just turn it off so you guys know what what is doing different. Okay, third party. We're gonna open these up. Okay, we're gonna turn these on. We're gonna put an EQ, we're gonna drag the fourth band somewhere between 1K. Okay, I mean, leave it at 1K. Okay. Oh, wait, one second. You guys already heard what it sounds like. So, <laughs> okay. So, this, this is what it sounds like EQ, 1000, 1K, whatever. You're gonna put Isotop Trash. We'll show you what preset I'm using. This is uh, the screen you should get when you open up as Isotop Trash. You're gonna go to the store and you're gonna click Slight Twist. Um, just know that all of these presets here are good. This is the one that I like the most. This is the one that I like the most. This is what I I either use this one or the uh, Blues Driver. You know, excuse me. Uh, both of these are really good. I mean, all of them are really good. Just depends how you want your sub sound. But uh, I like any of these you know yeah should um bring out some distortion we're gonna add saturation again we're gonna do the, a bit warmer as well the same preset as the last one we're gonna put a uh, 60b we're gonna change here to sonoid fold and then we're gonna put the dry and wet at 20 percent we're gonna put another eq we're gonna grab the fourth band and then we're gonna put it somewhere between 100 and 120 db uh, 120 hertz imagine 120 db for okay. okay and then final we're gonna add a hiss uh, say, same as the last one here the only difference is that we're gonna put the hiss um, at the amount at 11.9 okay Okay, and then we're gonna turn on the group on our we're gonna turn on the rack on our group and it should sound something like this. Really really fat, two different subs. You no, know, one with the little hiss on the on the tail, the other one's really subby. Uh, both can be used different ways. I mean the stock way I usually use it when I'm doing like trap stuff, cause I like that little hiss to be you know knocking at the end of the of the tail. Uh, the third party way I usually do it when I'm doing like dubstep or anything you know anything that's like really just sub subby and stuff like that. But I mean both w both work with both ways you know it just depends on which way you like the best. Um, also like I mean on the stock way I can just literally turn off the hiss and use that on the if I'm making dubstep you know I just I'll have to EQ the the highs I mean the the mids and the highs from, from that but I mean both ways work just really depends on you what you want to go for um, but yeah guys I mean hope you guys learned something it's two different ways I'll leave all of these uh, racks on the description so you guys can go grab them copy and paste but uh, yeah, man, that's basically it. I go by the name of Gom, Chris Rod. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, and I uh, hope to see you guys soon. And there'll be a lot more tutorials, you know? But I'm out. Thank you.